an incident of someone who was sent to Qaryan to meet the Promisai and be in his physical presence and benefit from that company. A man, it says, went to visit Qaryan because someone said he should stay there and listen to the addresses, discourses of Promisaya. He left after just one day. He was asked the reason for his abrupt departure, and the man said this, Qaryan is not a place for decent people. Someone asked him, please explain what you mean by that. He said, I arrived in Qaryan in the morning and was well looked after. I told them I had been traveling from Sindh and did not get a chance to smoke my hookah during my journey and wanted to smoke hookah and relax. As you know, hookah or shisha is that water pipe used by people back in India to smoke tobacco. He says, there was some delay in the hookah preparation when someone announced that Hazrat Maulana Nuruddin Sahib was about to give a dars al-hadith. So I wanted to, so I went and listened to the dars thinking, I will have my hookah at leisure after the dars. Once the dars was over, someone said lunch was ready, so have lunch first. I thought, fine. I will relax after lunch and smoke my hookah. But when lunch finished, the Dhuhr Azan was called and I was asked to join the Zuhr Salat. Thereafter, Mirza Sahib, by that he meant Hazrat Masih Maud salam, held an assembly. I thought very well, let me listen to Mirza Sahib and then smoke my hookah. But afterwards, having gone to relieve myself, I lighted the hookah and had barely taken two puffs when it was time for Asa Salat. So I figured I'll get free to smoke hookah a little later in the evening. But just then, someone said, Maulana Nuruddin Sahib was giving a daras of Quran. So soon after daras, Maghrib Azan was called, and I still hadn't been able to smoke hookah. After Salat Mirza Saab, that is the promised high alayhi salam, again held an assembly. I thought maybe I'll have hookah after this, but it was time for dinner. Dinner was finished. I thought at last, I will have time for my hookah. But people said, let's first offer Isha prayer. During Isha prayer, we finished, I thank God that now finally there'll be nothing more to do and I'd be able to enjoy my hookah. He says, I had barely lighted my hookah when I, I found, found out that Maulana Nuruddin Saab held an audience after Isha with people visiting from outside Kardian to provide them some nasiya, some guidance. So there I was. The Mulana started preaching. My journey had been exhausting, and consequ consequently, I fell asleep while listening to that daras, and I had no idea where I was and no idea where my hookah was. When I woke in the morning, I gathered my bedding and quickly hurried away, thinking. Qadian is no place for a decent person. <laughs>